He is risen. I want to welcome you to our service. Uh, Amen. Let's come and celebrate with these that are going to be baptized this morning. One of Ash. I'm Ashley Schellenberg, and I'm 16 years old and a junior at Washington Community High School. I have an older sister named Allie and two younger brothers named Tyler and Trevor. I have attended Bethany Community Church my entire life, and I grew up in a Christian family, so I came to know the Lord at an early age. I always knew I was a sinner and needed Christ. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. When I was growing up, my dad would read me and Allie these stories. This became known as stories, and we did it every single night before bed. Story time consisted of reading through parts of the Bible, reading Christian-based books, such as Pilgrim's Progress, and we also had a prayer request list that we would go to every couple times a week. My dad would read also verses to Allie and I. One time during stories, I realized that if I didn't trust in the Lord, then I wouldn't be saved. It scared me to think about going to hell. I want to go to heaven and live with the Lord for eternity. So after conversations with my mom and dad, I prayed and asked the Lord for forgiveness so that I could be saved. I knew I needed Jesus to be saved and that I couldn't do it by myself. Ephesians 2, 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not as a result of works so that no one may boast. Throughout my life, I have been faced with many trials that I've had to deal with. I have cystic fibrosis, which is a terminal disease that I was born with that still has no cure. Having CF has been a huge burden on my back, and there have been many times in my life where my health has not been the best, and that can be a little scary. I've remained positive through all of the negatives because of Jesus. Many times in my life, I could have easily been frustrated with God or questioned Him or turned away from Him, but because of, his, because of God's gracious love, he has given me a soft heart so that I can continue trusting in him through all of my trials. When I wrecked on my dirt bike, I remember telling my mom and dad in the hospital, God has a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. That has been super encouraging throughout my walk with the Lord, because when things aren't going my way, I find myself taking a step back and watching Jesus work in my life for his perfect plan. One of my favorite verses is 1 Corinthians 10, 31, which says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. I want to be baptized today to publicly proclaim my love and commitment for Jesus Christ and to glorify God with everything I do. Thank you.
For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a, a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. 